good morning children we are continuing the same chapter chapter 11 construction construct an angle 45 degree at the initial point of a given tree and justify the construction last class we have seen that how we have to construct a 90 degree it's a standard construction only standard angle we can see that one and after that we are going for 45 degree so whatever you have learned for the construction 90 degree that is the first step so according to the question an initial ray is given so let us take a op now what is the next step we have to draw with the o as a center convenient radius we have to draw a semicircle right so this point i am taking as a and here with a as a center one more arc and again b as a center another arc to be cut here now what is the next step we have taken b using b and c we should write to draw two more arc now through this we have to complete a 90 degree only so we are completing the 90 degree rough diagram only don't worry about the lines when we are doing the arc with the composite will be correct only so i'll mark here q only so angle poq we got a 90 degree so this is step we are avoiding we are just writing the first step as construct 90 degree that is angle poq equal to 90 degree so these many steps are there if it is asked for direct 90 degree then only that step to be written otherwise you use the line as construct 90 degree that is angle poq is 90 degree so poq 99 degree is the base from that only we are making going to make which one 45 degree so now this point i'm marking as a d right so ad as the distance now here that is our arc is uh, making angle 90 degree now with a and d as a centers what is the next step a and d as a centers we have to draw the angle bisector so more than half of ad to be taken and two more arc we should complete and with the o we have to join this one So let we had taken as a, it is R only. So O R is the required arc. So 90 bisected equally here. That means two equal parts. So each will be 45 degree. So O R is the required bisector. Now how to do the constructions? We will see that one. So what is the first step? 90 degree construction to be done there. So for that we are drawing a ray first. Right. So we are drawing a ray O P. op is given now what is the next step with o as a center at a convenient radius we have to draw an arc if last class if you watched there is no need of seeing the steps so you already know that one now with the without changing the radius we have to draw one more arc again another arc now from these two points we have to draw two more arcs so now we got a one point of intersection keeping at o we should complete this one so here i'll write it is q now here a b then c now we got a 90 degree so for our convenience we are marking this point as d now ad as the distance to be taken in your compass check that it is more than half only for that ad now a as a center we have to draw first arc then d as a center another arc now it is equally bisected now with the through o we are joining and drawing another arc another ray that is or so if you consider this one you can take the measurement and check that it is equal to 45 degree what is the one more time i am doing for you so what is the first step op is the ray is given right with the o as a center we have to draw 90 degree construction first so draw in a semicircle now next year. this is a for us we got b now with b c we got 
again two more arc ha now q we got right so 90 degree we will complete so if you want the letters p here o q angle p o q a b c now this point of interest intersection we are giving as a letter d only now what is the next step we should bisect this angle because it's a 90 degree so already it is more than half only if you are having doubt little more extend with the compass now what is the next step more than half to be taken with a as a center and next d as a center okay now we got r point so through o we complete or so or is the angle bisector how how to prove this the justification is the next step for justification we are joining dr again ar there is no need of showing this diagram because already you understood how the justification and all so here two radius only so od equal to oa next dr equal to ar again another radius only it is equal or is common so by sss criteria triple s criteria odr equal to oar that means angle dor equal to angle ar each is equally bisected that means these two angle that means total angle is 90 half of 90 is equal to 45 degree hence proved Construct an angle 60 degree at the initial point of the given ray. So 90 60 degree construction only. Lower classes we have already studied how to construct a 60 degree only. Let me let us see the rough work first. O P is the ray is given right. Now with O as a center at a convenient radius we are drawing a circle, semi circle. Which cut OP at A. So the see the first step, taking O as a center and a convenient radius, draw an arc of the circle which intersect OP at A. Now with the A as a center and the same radius without changing that one, one more arc to be drawn. That is B. Through B we have to draw a ray. That means which is that ray? OQ is the ray. So here we have to construct here OQ. through b we are constructing oq now what is the next step angle poq equal to 60 degree this is the step required angle step you know already we have to prove the justification that is that one so once again o as a center and a convenient radius draw an arc which cut at a with a as a center draw another arc at b and through b we have to uh, draw a ray that is oq angle poq is the required angle now a ray is given op now with o as a center draw a semi circle from this only one arc we have to cut right now marking that one this is o p a b now through b we have to join draw a ray now that is q oq is the ray so angle poq equal to 60 degree i don't think repetition is required it's the same only now we can see the justification uh, join ab is the next step so ab we will join now okay now what happens here oa ab ob are equal see first using with the center o we are drawn the circle so a only we got this radius is same as ob also now from a as a center ab we have drawn that means all the three are equal this is equal to radii now what you can say about oab it's an equilateral triangle 
what you can say about each angle of an equilateral triangle each is equal to 60 degree that means this angle equal to 60 degree anyhow we have learned the construction in the lower classes 60 degree 90 degree and all this year we are learning about uh, uh, how the justification to be done so the justification you can see that all the three lines are equal because of the radius of the circle same center with o we are doing all the things and the radius are equal a b is also equal to o a and a o b also now we got equilateral triangle here therefore naturally the angle equal to 60 degree construction of an angle 30 degree so just now only we have learned a 60 degree so you already know that if you we are able to construct a 60 degree we have to bisect for getting 30 degree only so this particular exercise is meant for angle bisectors only so the what is the first step 60 degree that is the construct angle AOB 60 degree we are not writing all the steps because already we know how to write a so that is OP we will get a ray the Again, we have to draw a uh, semicircle A and with A only one line that is one cutting is required AB. B we will get through B we are drawing the line. So Q. So we got 60 degree. Now what is the next step? We will take A as a center and more than half of AB. We have to draw one more circle. Now B as a center, another one we have to draw. So we will draw the line here. Through that line we will get uh, any letter is given that is R only. So OR is the required bisector. So with the centers A and B, right? Keeping the compass on A as well as B, we will get two arcs which intersect at R only. Now join R. Join OR, ray OR is the required bisector. That means what we can say about uh, angle AOR, angle POR equal to 30 degree as well as QOR equal to 30 degree. Both are same only when you are talking about AOR and also BOR which is equal to 30 degree because it's bisected here. Now we can see the construction. Once again you can see the steps of construction for 60 degree. So array is given. Now with the center O we have to draw a convenient radius. We have to take and draw a semicircle. Okay. Now with the A as a center, we have to cut only one time. Now what is the next step? Uh, through O, we have to join. So P, O, Q. What is the point here? A, next is B. Now A, B we got uh, the same radius only. Now with A as a center, angle POQ is 60 now. Now it should be bisected. Already it is more than half only. Uh, so with A as a center, we have to draw first arc. Now B as a center, we have to draw the another arc. Okay. Now we will join this one. So I will mark here R only. Now how to prove this one? For that we should join BR. Because now you understood the steps very well. We can go for the justification by joining these two diagrams. So we have joined BR and AR also. So we are getting two triangles which are the BOR and AOR. OB equal to OA, the first radii. Next, BR equal to AR, the second radii. Now OR is common. 
again SSS criteria these two triangles are congruent so angle BOR equal to angle AOR by CPCT we know that the total angle is 60 degree so BOR or AOR we can say that half of total angle that is half of 60 equal to 30 degree so we got 30 degree construction only so 90 degree construction we got then for bisection we got a 45 degree similarly 60 degree we constructed first then we learned about how to construct a 30 degree so for getting 45 degree what we should do 90 degree construction we should do then bisecting should be do for getting 30 degree what we should do 60 degree we should do then do the construction for bisecting bisection of that one gives a 30 degree next i want 15 degree suppose so what i should do first you construct a 60 then you will construct 30 again it will be bisected for getting 15 similarly here also we can get a 22 and a half also that is 45 to be bisected right so like that we can do the uh, by continuous bisection for getting the next year degrees so these uh, type of construction 90 degree 60 degree that is there is no change that you have learned in the lower classes that is to be done by construction method only don't take the protractor measurement we should go for the construction then go for the bisecting steps so angle bisector we have to draw for getting 45 another 45 to be bisected then you will get a 22 and a half similarly 60 to be drawn then we will get a 30 degree again uh, 15, 15 we want means 30 degree angle to be um, uh, for 30 degree we have to draw the angle bisectors similarly you know you have learned about the construction of 120 degree also instead of cutting uh, one time we have to go for two two arcs for making 120 degree all these things we you know that one the same thing only we have to apply but this time we have to learn about the angle bisector property also so the, with this exercise you are learning that uh, some angles are bisected for that we are getting the corresponding bisecting angles for 90 degree we are getting 45 degree for 30 degree we should make a 60 degree then the bisector to be drawn like that steps to be followed with this today's class i'm winding up thank you